Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. In the last video, we changed to our new class, which we've yet to play in the slightest. I got a new ability. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. My hair is wild. It was stolen from me while I was delivering it. And if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He said people killed a four, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. That jewel was my last hope. Now it's gone. Unless... Unless you were to find it for me. Would you, sir? I'll pray do a poor man a kindness. Okay, the sure. The Orb could be anywhere now. Perchance we ought to speak with someone who has experience in banditry. Perchance, perchance we might fear. Be anywhere okay, now. you just said that. No, we're not doing that first because we have this quest. So I'm thinking, you know what, it's got this little timer on it. Basically, I think I can safely ignore them unless it has this little uh, timer, what do you call it? Chukka chukka chukka, sand thing, <laughs> sand glass timer thing, yes. Um, I've been really paranoid that quests were going to like fall to pieces if I didn't do them ASAP, but uh, I'm pretty sure it, it needs that quality to it. Maybe? I, I think this is simply saying that Roger's going to die <laughs> if I don't find out where he is. So we need to speak with townsfolk and find out where the lad was last seen, determine where the beasts have taken him, and hasten to his aid, and then figure out how we play this bloody class. So let's chat to some people, I suppose. Hail. Speak to me another time. I'm on duty. All right, I was looking for a lost child, but have you some business with me? The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. That's nice. From what I can glean, the petals absorb the sun's light by day. And release it after dark. Isn't that unusual? Nature works in mysterious ways. Oh, that's that's part of it. I never believe this, but the other day I saw an elven woman and a dwarven man walking hand in hand. I mean, do have I seen an elf or a dwarf? <laughs> an elf and a dwarf in the same room, and they'll be trading blows before you can blink. Mayhap my eyes deceived me. Okay. Uh, you have a hat. You're important. Hi. I met Roger by the Cenotaph on the eastern side of town. I mean, I'm not saying I'm psychic, but <laughs> the fact he had a hat did make him important. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him, only he was carrying it as though it were of the greatest import. When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we parted ways. Yet no sooner had I turned my back than I heard him scream. I charged to his aid, but a wolf was already scarpering with him and its jewels. Poor lad. His cries haunt me even now. Pray help him if you can, sir. He deserves a better fate than this. Okay. So we're looking for one more person. Poor oh, Raj. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop, and he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way out and put them up for me, all pretty like. I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. Oh, Rog, will I e'er see your smile again? I suppose I can only hope. Cool. That seems to be all the information we needed. What bills have I got? Flower bed will offer some clue as to Roger's whereabouts. Okay. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Woo! 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 <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited about this. Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Slate colored horn. To be found while we're here? It's funny because I thought swapping to this class I was going to be weaker, right? Um, less tanky, but because the gear we've picked up is so good, we're actually stronger defensively. If anything, it probably suggests that I was very much weaker than I realized prior to. Is this the. Is, are you sure this is the right way? Uh, 
I mean, it doesn't look like the right way. Are you sure this is the right way, Thea? Me. This doesn't look like the right way. I'm gonna trust you, but I feel like you're definitely lying to me. Okay. Well, I suppose I can't block anymore though, that's the main thing. Magic for a short disposal. Oh, did I just? Ooh, it's got like a, a ranged attack on it. That's cool. My magic's are at your disposal. That's what he sounds like. This is cool because it means Hades can be my tank. You know, he's a proper tanky warrior boy. <laughs> I do miss Blink Strike though. I uh, suppose so that's kind of a Blink Strike. Oh, that seems fun. I knew that I could count upon your strength. Oh, yo, that wasn't a high five. That was like a, an arm punch. I don't know what you call it. Keep on going. I just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here. During my travels beyond the rift. Nope. May I show you to its location? Oh, hey. Let us ponder how best to proceed. The lack of blocking is a detriment. Well, it's hard to, it's hard to deny. It looks much cooler. He is making sure that I've got a tank character. So I'm basically the replacement for what would be a rogue in my party, essentially. And that I'm a melee damage dealer, predominantly. Um, and the idea is that Hades goes in and he tanks up for me. What is going on with that rock? No idea. It's, it looks cool, and I honestly think it looking cool. Oh, this was the right way. It looking cool is enough reason for me to want to, like, you know, keep going with it, so. <clears throat> It'll do. <laughs> the hell? Over here, if you would. That was randomly aggressive. Come on, Thea. Who would know about banditry, anyways? Who am I gonna ask in town about banditry? I'm not sure about that. Whee! Guess we're going round and down. Happy will think this a trifle, but curious thing. One of my former okay, so chose to hire only women. I can do that. Or I need a. Uh, Okay, I just need better height. Oh, well, I don't need to do anything, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> As usual, my, my troop is going to do a lot of the work. Okay, when, I mean, this is what I was thinking. He's on the other side of this. He's on. He's. There's a bridge. I just. I don't understand why we came this way. <laughs> and I, I knew better, but I did it anyway. That's basically Blink Strike. Come on, boy. Yeah, see, that's what I want Hades to do there. It's interesting because, in a way, because I can't control Hades, it makes more sense to make Balthazar a tank. So I can build him entirely as a tank. You know, make sure he's got all the correct abilities and stuff like that. But he's a mage. I feel like that's his personality. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to change him from that, you know? That's just who part of who he is, almost. Same way that I might swap for the sake of getting some stuff, but this is who I want my character to be. Oh, this is promising. This is generally used as a material. <clears throat> All this moon different glow. combinations of materials result in different creations. Okay, is this the cenotaph? Uh... Oh, 
Nice. Always lots of wakestone shards near the graveyards. Which either makes a lot of sense or makes no sense. <laughs> because, in a way, it's like, well... Why would you put the wakes on shards here instead of using them to <laughs> revive the people you want? Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Oh, I don't know where Very to go, well. kid. I shall follow your lead instead. Uh, perhaps the arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Uh, perhaps not. I mean, it's a spooky sure cave. Spooky Thank cave you. seems promising. Hmm, it's harpy so Let me have a look. Uh. <sighs> Maybe I can find footprints or something, you know, wolf tracks. Um, I think this is where he was, but where he went from here. We are none of us alike in vocation. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. It's not. It's Let's a very purposeful choice, guys. Come on now. But down there. Uh, am I meant to know? I'm not seeing any indication. What have you done with him, guys? What, what have you done with him? Found here, of all places. It is best to leave harmless creatures be. Oh, hey. Uh, I mean, I may as well. Right, I've got to start looking around. There's nothing else. I can't just stand here waiting for the kid to die. Um, I tell you what. The route. Well, this has just gone back there. But if I came from town, I would come that way. So that would suggest he isn't that way, right? Because he's not going to be on the route. Right, let's, let's check this out down here, because this is a dead end, anyway. Well, at least it looks like one. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Nearly. We must not let down our guard. Nearly. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Have they gone? Oh, <laughs> I'm excited about that possibility. Well, I mean, we should follow the. Oh uh, yeah, this is you know follow the follow the flowers, follow the carcasses as well. Both of those are surely a promising sign, right? Found a chest. Let us examine what it has to offer. Don't open the chests. <laughs> right. They keep looting things, which, you know, is kind of appreciated, but also not. So what I need to do is go into their inventories and take their stuff and give it to Balthazar. Ceremonial cape, for example. Might actually be an upgrade. No, didn't mean to do that. Uh, rotten... This has got to be the right way, surely. What the hell is that? Who are you? Wait, wait, wait! Mine! Mine! Come here! <laughs> Try to take my goddamn whore. Nice. At last, a chance to use this. Oh, I should have leveled up um buff stars. Wee! <laughs> we'll get better at it, I'm sure. But it's fun. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I really hope this is the right way, but I'm not convinced. Uh, more flowers though. Oh no, this ain't it. This ain't it. I've done a loop de loop. Okay, um. I don't want to be. Oh yeah. I don't want to be at the cenotaph at night time, is part of the problem. I'm liable to die. Yeah, you know, we we already heard that there's stuff going on there at night time. Picking up every so, little trinket you find. I 
guess we're gonna take the other route, I suppose. Hmm. I mean, you think about it, both of those routes were covered in flowers, right? So they were both guiding me in the correct direction to get to the kid. Hail, friend. A well organized pack is my specialty. I can't. They keep. <laughs> ah! It's funny because it means I'll probably never have a rogue in my party. Like, it just doesn't fit with what I'm doing here. The hell is that? Oh. Too sleepy. Too sleepy. Bear with me. Bear with me. Allons-y! You must send yourself with that oil per case. God, I keep forgetting I've got like an I've got like a ranged spell. Entirely keep forgetting. Ooh, hey Balf Saul, what's this? There's a lot of fancy things that I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what this is. My gratitude. I hope this conveys my gratitude. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Well, night has fallen. Um. I don't know, man. exactly what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> I'm gonna go down... Oh, there's flowers there, though. Oh, well, there was. Okay, no, okay, I think... I'm gonna keep following the flowers. This is a lot of flowers. And this is all I've got. I don't really have a better idea. And they've all been picked as well, which... Is surely a positive. It's not good for me because I want to pick the flowers myself, but surely the kid was picking the flowers and then got taken away by the wolf. Although they said he got taken away from the cenotaph, so let's back that way. Oh, that ain't no wolf. Bear in mind that the brute will seek out women with unwavering persistence. It is a tendency we might exploit. Wait, really? Does it does it specifically target women? That's amazing. <laughs> oh no. I must admit that it feels wonderful to strike through. So the idea behind this let me try this. You leave him alone! That's right. The only thing I wish I had is like a dodge, you know? Dodge would be great. One of the targets my own master value. I should like to see it I'm working on it, Fear. I'm working on it. I ask for aid. It's a foe worthy of caution. Not save our best for you. Pew pew! Pew pew! I don't I don't <laughs> That's great though, because it just jumps towards his head. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Guys, assist me! Assist! Get off me! He's sliming me, he's sliming me in a deeply ironic way. In a sad way. Recklessness has done them no favors. They would conserve their strength. Oh. I'm okay. Let me have a 
I've got to stop letting my stamina drain entirely. It's a real problem for me. Tough old cook, isn't he? Bloody Nora. Go on, get up there, hey. Oh no, he's off. Uh, good job. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. There we go. I am well aware of what a finish. It is done. Thank you, Arisen. Oh. <laughs> you know what I just got? I'm pretty sure I just got another um another um <laughs> another Archimage stuff thing. Um, do I just keep following the flowers? I feel like I'm going really far away. Ah, da 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 da. Flower bed, cenotaph. Cenotaph's when he got attacked by the wolves. I feel like I'm going miles away. Well, I don't really know where else to go, so <laughs> just keep going. I mean, look, the petals. Oh, these aren't picked, are they? Tranquility could last. They're um. Because as you say, they're uh, scattered on the ground. He's leaving us a trail, right? This is definitely. This has got to be the right way, surely. He's he's like being dragged along by the wolves and tossing the petals out behind him, right? I was just I was just misreading the situation. I wish I wasn't doing this at night time. <laughs> pew, pew. Watch for the hobgoblin. Fire is not its weakness, but its strength. A sickening slime coats the arisen. Did that hit quite hard? Wait, this is like a truck. Am I crazy? Yes. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Good job, Balf. I need to drop some weight. Oh, man. Oh, wait. I got a... um. Ah, this will save me. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I've got three of them. What the heck? I mean, it didn't save me, but it got me closer. Uh, sorry, Balf. Jesus. What am I carrying? What am I carrying that's making me so heavy? I genuinely have no idea. Did I pick up a... Oh, we picked... Oh, yeah, I've got... Oh, of course. Of course. Okay, that'll do. I'm on my way, kid. Yeah, so I don't like this blade one I've got. This one. Because they don't really look like blades either. They look a little fuzzy all things. It's much less exciting. However, I really like um, Dragoon Stab. So we'll keep that one and we'll probably swap the other. Guys, there's a child in danger. I don't care about that. It's a time limited quest, that's what we care about. This way, this way, okay. Across the little tiny baby path. Baby path, do 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 do. Baby path, do 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 do. Baby path, do 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 do. You need to get more intense about it until it turns into like a death metal song. <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> don't know. Common reward. You know, it's just. Stratingly so. Hey. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Wolvens! Well, that's a good sign. Not for the wolves, it's not. What? Hello, you're cool. <laughs> Wandering around shirtless with two swords, stabbing wolves. I want more. All I want is more of these beetles in my life. 
0.15 kilograms. I wonder how many of these we've picked up ever. Huh. I'm looking at the num. What does it? What? Right. Look at the key underneath Golden Trove Beetle. There's four. There's a one zero zero zero. Oh. oh. That's oh, because it those two ha right. So one of them's me, right on the left. Then it's Balthazar, and then it's Pawn One and Pawn Two. But that's also the same symbol on the quests. So, is what this actually is this on the quest log? Is it about which pawn is going to help me get there? It's about which pawn has the information, I think. Which actually seems like basically pointless information, but... Hi-ho. Seems to end here. Nope, this way. Putrid Cave. Lovely. The fiend unknown is the most perilous. Remain alert. Get! The prison is covered in slime. Hey, Kit. What's going on? How did I get here? I remember. The wolves. How is it I'm still alive? You saved me, didn't you, sir? I... I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did Grandfather request your help? Nope, I'm psychic. I suppose he must be worried sick about me. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. We'd best report back. Come on, kid. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. It's going to be a heck of a trek back, isn't it? Alright, so you remember last time I picked someone up? Um, alright, alright, he clearly wants to be put down. I was trying to help you out, you know. Come on, then. <laughs> um... Remember we helped out the guy in the cave who was, uh, he had his, he hurt his foot or something like that, right? I couldn't throw him. <laughs> I can throw the kid. <laughs> if this game had a proper save system, which I do believe they are planning to add, if it had a proper multi-save system, I would, I would toss the kid. <laughs> you know, I'd just throw the kid away just to see what happens, <laughs> toss him into the river. I probably could, you know, it's that kind of game where I can do it. And obviously, there's repercussions for that. At least I'll fail the quest, if nothing else. I think that's what I like about games like this. Um, it, it's not... It's, it, obviously, it's an RPG. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But it's also an immersive sim, you would call it. You know, it's in that it just gives you a world with certain rules and lets you do your thing, essentially, right? Don't need my lantern. Everyone else has got theirs on. No, oh, but Hades has <laughs> taken that as a sign to turn his off. Pray, light your lantern, Master. All right. Well, you all just turned yours off in response to me turning mine off. You're a merchant? No, it's a dude. God, kids are so slow. Such so small legs. Just be taller already. Be a grown up. God damn. I also want to go by the cenotaph. I just don't really want to do it while I've got the kid in my party. They mentioned. The Skellingtons. You heard me, Skellingtons. And all that. It's back across that way. I think we might nip out after we turn this quest in. You're killing me, kid. My intentions are good. Come on, son. He was proper, he was proper giving me little hits and stuff. He was beating me. Howdy. Sleepy. But yeah, it's, it's that kind of world where... I'm trying to think of other games that have the same kind of feeling. To an extent, you know, Skyrim and that kind of thing. Elden Ring, less so. Elden Ring has less of, like, the physics playing around with it. But it does have that kind of just go and do stuff and explore and point yourself in a direction and see what happens kind of vibe that this game has. 
it's a very gameplay forward game. You know, this game is all about the gameplay. Um, I mean, I, I do I care? About, I don't care about the story. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. In games like this, I never care about the main story because it's always too big. And those of you who've heard me before will have heard me talk say these very words many times. But again, I don't care about being like the savior of the world and all that kind of jazz. You know. Undead. Zombies! This foe will recoil from flame. I do no damage. It's like you need an element to get through a zombie. As soon as I got the element, yeah, hit like a truck. But without it, I didn't do a goddamn thing. Are we ignoring the enemy today? Oh, they're all dead. Let us defer to the arisen judgment. Are they all dead? There's no great shock to me. Not all dead. Hades flip flipping around. I'm getting to the point. Oh, hello. See no damage at all. Whoa! That was great, Thea. The undead hit like trucks, by the way. Look at that damage. Oh, that was a particularly tough one, given the XP amount I got, though. That was Whoa! <laughs> I did not know I could feel so alive. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. <clears throat> oh, people have heard me talk about this all the time. But I like games that are gameplay focused, as in, I get to just go and do my thing, you know? And I find that the side quests tend to be more impactful in these games. Woo! <laughs> Balthasar, my boy! Yeah! Maybe I need to make more use of my RB. The idea is to RB, freeze them in place with the RB, and then go hit them. That was pretty cool. Um, I just, I just, the idea of like being the savior worlds and stuff, it's too big, it's too large. It's not a personal thing that you can kind of like get deeply invested with, you know what I mean? We ought to take a closer look. Really oh, Seeker's token. Nice. Places, I really need to keep an eye. That's probably what a few of those question mark, uh, estimation marks I've missed. I shall have to inform my own master. <sighs> I'm on my way. Resist if you can. Glad to see you have the matter in hand. <laughs> I knew, I knew that was a big ass risk. <laughs> I absolutely saw the world where I went flying off the cliff there. But I just thought, oh, hello. I couldn't resist. A zombie in there, kid. You might want to back out. But yeah, it's just too big, you know what I mean? It's not personal. Especially when there's not really any sympathetic characters involved. At the moment, at least, other than myself, essentially. Are they still fighting? You see these flashes of light around the corner. Oh, God, the is off. Come on, guys. Then I shall remain by your side. So I just tend to like the smaller stories. And it's the same for every single Elder Scrolls game. It's the same for Elden Ring. I couldn't really tell you Elden Ring's story, if I'm honest. When I think about Elden Ring, I don't remember the main story. I remember... Killing Melania after six goddamn hours of trying. Without spirit ashes, I remember 
going down into the underground for the very first time and seeing the oh that gigantic throne and seeing the um starlit sky i'll say that's one thing Elden Ring definitely has over this game is um getting zombied I'm getting zombied the um landscapes are much more impressive than Elden Ring it's more fantastical though this is a lot of zombies guys my magic are at your disposal it's interesting that the first skill that every melee gets seems to be a um good job Balthasar. Woo! <laughs> seems to be like a gap closer i need to decide what i'm doing with Balthasar. do i level him i think i'm gonna level him all the way up as a mage or wizard or whatever he's called but then I would definitely be tempted to swap him over to Sorcerer and start getting some of those passives in the Sorcerer tree. The problem is, of course, at the moment he can heal me and stuff like that. If I swap Balthazar to a Sorcerer, then I pretty much have to have a mage in the party. Because otherwise I've got no healer. You know? Thanks, guys. Just absolutely blocking the goddamn road. This way, kid. He's really struggling with that ox cart, isn't he? <laughs> there he is. Up. Over here, if you please. I'm up. Yeah, Thea. Thank you. <laughs> She's finally figured out how to help me out here. We've arrived, just as planned. Here you go. One child. That'll be five hundred gold. I just Rog? Rog? Is that you, my boy? Hello, Grandfather. Tis a miracle. You're alive and in one piece. Oh, joy of joys. I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Grandfather, you're smothering me. <laughs> oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you worried me half to death. Very sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. And you? Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. I am truly in your debt. Pray, take this. Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to your kindness, but I hope you will accept it all the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll have an extra prize, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, um, there's a vocation hall here. Isn't this a vocation hall? Because there's some things I want to do. You a vocation person? Well, hello. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, what can't I owe me as my as my? Near the ball. Do you come again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think it's this then. What I want to do is... Oh, no, it's not going to work. I'm thinking I want to... Greetings. Oh. You are the Arisen, are you not? Tell is you travel quite a bit. Sure do, Everard. Tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offal? I think so. He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post haste. And in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite orb on my behalf? You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that, I can assure you. I don't trust them. Sirs O'Fulv and Everard each seek the Jadeite Orb. To whom ought we to grant it? Assuming we find the thing at all. Oh yeah, that's kind of first priority, isn't Whatever it? Whatever choice you make, Arisen, I'm sure it will be the right one. I need to talk to an innkeeper. 
Greetings! We see a great many customers given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the ale runs dry. Unacceptable. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, oh, no, it's a tavern. I don't want to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts I'm offer confused. comfort commensurate to their cost. Greeting. We see a great many customers given our location. It looks like it's a inn. There's a bed. Is it upstairs? It's upstairs. I need a um, storage tank. Reckon your road's been a long one. No use hiding it. I've seen my share of weary countenances. So many people have this terrible haircut. <laughs> Trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here, at least, you'll find a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, only a thousand. Well, we'll probably stay for the night as well, just for the sake of um, getting my health back a little bit. Get bath size inventory nice and clear. I'd love to deposit all button. Uh, right, we'll put the stuffs away for now as well. And that away. Lovely, lovely. That's cleared out a lot of space. What's that? Should he not be wearing that? Or should I be wearing Somebody should be wearing that. Okay, that's bath are pretty much cleared out. My inventory, wait, that's not me. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't look right for me. <laughs> Where's my inventory? There, there we are. Uh, right, I don't think I've got anything I can drop. Hmm. Cheers, buddy. Uh, let's rest for them. No. <clears throat> Shall we get some rest then? I've lost about a fifth of my health, if not a little bit more. So we're good to get that recovered before we tackle something else. We've all inspected our equipment. Off we go then. If we go Being then. Rested, I trust. Oh right, yeah. I want to check this um thing. I mean, it's, it's an increase for him. It's only an increase of one, but may as well, right? There you go, buddy. Plus, it looks better. It looks fancier. And as we know, he's a fancy man. Uh, right, so we want to do this one while we're here. Any? Not one of the bandits in Vernworth Jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk. Okay, Thea. Follow yeah. Me, I shall guide <laughs> you to the Fair enough. <laughs> Tis as you say. Tis as you say. This journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet? Back? It is going to be a very, very long journey. However, I did say that I wanted a long journey, didn't I? Oh, it's a trek, though. Oh, that's broken there. Interesting. I mean, is it all the way down here? Along here? Down there? <sighs> Maybe we should set off... No, okay, we're going to go to Vernworth, because I want to set off from Vernworth instead well, of from here, because this is later game, inverted commas. You know what I mean? As in, well, it's not... We get to Vernworth pretty early, so I'd like to... When I start to explore, I, I tend to want to explore from the early zones outwards. So, yeah. Go to Vernworth first, and we can do this quest. And then we can go on a little bit of a... I just want to spend a couple hours... Wandering off the beaten track a little bit. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> I think Saurians must just have like resistance to um, melee damage. Or like straight up physical damage. Uh, did the Oscar just get destroyed? <laughs> I think the Oscar just got destroyed. I hope we're quite close at least. Let us finish this. I'll get rid of the gobbos, I think. 
If we're to have any hope of victory, we must employ every tool and tactic at our disposal. Damn minotaurs, ogres, whatever it is. Things are ogre. It's a really good way to climb on top of a, like the back of a monster really quickly. It's pretty great. Need to get a bit further forward, I think. There we go. In the head. Much easier target when lying prone. I cannot be thrown up that. Let us finish this. I'm trying. Strike fast. I'm trying. I'll do. Off a pop. Quickly arisen. You must regain your footing. I'm trying. Very sleepy. Just got stand still. You get it quicker if you stand still. I'll do. I'll see. Wait, 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 photo mode, photo mode, photo mode. I don't have like a really good photo of me. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Sad. The first levels of a vocation are very quick. Well, the ox car got destroyed. <laughs> so, what was that a thing? Nope, that's someone on fire. <laughs> okay, right. Where did? How far did we get? Ah, uh, we got pretty far. We're not. We're not a million miles away. You guys fighting for something? You'll be fine. I didn't know the ox car could get full on annihilated like that. So I wanted to talk about this in the previous video. This little jaunt. I'm. I'm perfectly happy to do this. By the way, this little run back to the city. It doesn't bother me at all. But I've seen some people get quite annoyed about it on Twitter and stuff like that. And part of the reactions for the game have been people who dislike the lack of fast travel. Um, because there's a bit of a perception, and it's fine if people feel this way, but I just disagree and that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, there's a perception that video games have to be fun. And they do, to an extent. I mean, no, I, I disagree entirely that they have to be fun. Me thinks we could move this Did you just we work together? I say we give it a push and see what happens. Well, I mean, <laughs> someone clearly had the same goddamn thought. It's rubbish, isn't it? I mean, the, the benefit is I can kind of... Yeah, I can kind of do it as I... Actually, to be fair, yeah, that's okay. That's better than I thought. As long as I'm willing to do the buttons, it doesn't cost any stamina to do it, does it? One might confidently oh, it does. Well, I can, if I'm just melleying, and melleying doesn't cost stamina, I can kind of throw those out and add it. Basically bonus damage, you know? Oh, you're not dead. That's a little ambush goblin, I think. Oh, hey, look at this. That's very cool. Oh, see it. Oh, go, go, okay. It's a perception that video games have to be fun. All right. And I don't think it's true. Like, I think about... There's lots of games that aren't fun. Why does fun have to be the pejorative, the predominant emotion you get from a video game? People don't watch films and think they have to be fun. That would be nonsense. Imagine watching most of the best films ever made. I wouldn't call most of the best films fun, per se. Um... You know, they can be terrifying or heartbreaking. You know, getting super sad in a film isn't fun. You enjoy it in a cathartic... See, that's the thing. There's a difference between enjoyment and fun. You should enjoy a game. You don't have to find it fun. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. I mean, I killed a rabbit. I kind of expected it to drop a rabbit pelt, guys, if I'm honest. So I'm very much of the perception that it's okay for a game to be tedious sometimes, or for a game to be boring occasionally, or for a game to 
It'd be frustrating every now and again. Oh, I kind of want to check this cave out. Oh, it's only a little baby cave. Trying to get in the habit of just throwing those out every now and again. Sorry, Hades. I'm leaving you hanging here. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Did my best to match your skill, master. You did great, buddy. You did great. I think about... I know I talk about Dark Souls a lot, but let's talk about Dark Souls, okay? Dark Souls is a difficult game. It's not as difficult as people make it out to be, especially Dark Souls 1. I think it's quite a lot easier than people maybe think it is. But you're going to die quite a few times. There's no difficulty settings. You know, you have to you have to work your way through it. You're going to suffer. You're going to die. It's hard. Not nearly as hard as people make it out to be, but it's hard. You know, I go play, God, even in my limited experience of like older school games, go play Ninja Gaiden Black on the hardest difficulty and tell me Dark Souls is hard after that experience. Jesus. Um, my point is that the, the difficulty in Dark Souls, and indeed the difficulty in this game, this is not an easy game. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking... Am I? No. <laughs> Rather long. This is not an easy game. I've died a few times already, and I wouldn't expect to die... Uh, you expect to die every now and again. But yeah, it's not an easy game. You can die pretty easily if you're not, you know, paying attention. And do I have my lantern on? Yeah. You know, you have to manage your inventory, you have to take camping things with you. There's lots of finicky little things like that as well. But the difficulty isn't to make your life hell. It's not to be tedious. It has a point. And the point is to immerse you in the game world and to make you conscious of the decisions that you make, to make you plan your journeys, to make you think, can I get there alive? Do I need a couple of camping kits to get there? You know, what's my... The reason the health bar drops it might seem cruel, but it's there for a reason, to make you plan your journeys. You know, maybe you're halfway through a quest and you know there's a big enemy ahead of you, but you're also on 50% health. Do you risk going back to town, resetting your progress, or even losing the quest? Or do you push on and take on the enemy and risk dying and failing a million times instead that way? It's to make you think and consider your actions. And the difficulty in Dark Souls isn't some elitist nonsense, and it gets painted like that so much, and it really annoys me. The difficulty is to immerse you in the game world and make you consider it of your actions, and therefore have you think... The point is to make you think like your character would. Would your character do this? If not, then you shouldn't do it. You need to take logical, intelligent decisions in order to stay alive. Because Dark Souls is an action game, and this as an action game, I mean, this has, I would say, more involved gameplay than Dark Souls does. But they're not, like, super complex, super deep action games. That's not what they're trying to be. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. Some games are about micro decisions in that Click a button here, you know, reaction times and stuff like that. You know, can you dodge this ability, blah, 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 blah. And I feel Dark Souls has more and more gone in that direction. But the foundation of those games for me isn't micro decisions like that, but it's macro decisions in that the planning, your character build, all those bigger decisions you make about your character. Well met. You will soon forget and again, the point of that is to immerse you in that character more. Am I in deposit or withdraw? Whoa, how do I get all this stuff? <laughs> um, anyways, that's that's really what I have to say on the mind. It, just, it, it bothers me a little, the way people regard difficulty. People always think it's an elitist thing. People always think it's something just for people who want to show off that they can beat a hard game, and it just isn't the point. Like, people talk about it being elitist to not want an easy mode on Dark Souls. I've seen that many, many times as an opinion, and I do understand it, but I think it's fundamentally wrong. Because I think if you want to regard games as an art form, which as we all know, <laughs> people are desperate. Oh look, it shows how much uh, lantern oil there is. That's cool. People are desperate, you know, people in the industry are desperate for games to be seen as an art. And I think they are an art, of course. I'm not, not disagreeing with that. But if you think games are an art form, you have to be willing to accept that the creator's vision for that art form is important. And when the difficulty is so fundamental to the experience, 
like it is in Dark Souls, like it is in this game. Which of these is worse, is this one, because I feel like I'm going to lose it. Um, you know where to find me. When that's the case, asking for an easy mode is, in my opinion, subverting it as an art form. You're saying that the creator's intentions don't matter because you want access. And there's a notion that all games have to be made for all people and everyone should have access to every part of every game and that, you know, you're just being elitist and gatekeeping. And it's just not the case. You don't have, like, a God-given right to see the hardest content in the game you buy. You may have bought it, but you have to buy it, you have to have the knowledge to know that maybe it's not a game that you're going to see absolutely everything it has to offer, you know, because maybe you're just not good enough <laughs> at the end of the day. And that feels mean in a way, but there also has to be that challenge for the people who want that. There has to be those worlds that are built with that in mind for the people who enjoy that. And as soon as you start offering difficulties in games like Dark Souls, you're going to kill... You're just going to kill them. Dark Souls with an easy mode does not function. It does not work. Fundamentally. This game with an easy mode does not function. Does not work. And I don't think this is a particularly difficult game. Um... I could see it benefiting from a hard mode, but even then, no, it's just, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I know I've been ranting about this for longer than I expected, <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, let's go turn in the, who, am I giving this to the vocation guy, or to the, I'm giving it to the vocation guy, I think. Is he downstairs over here? Is it this guy? Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Well, I mean, here you go. Oh ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. The point is, good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those? If you want them to be an art form, you have to take the bad with the good. Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. It would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied and on. Ah, I reckon now that shop is going to start selling the staffs and the, the great swords, right? Cool. Obviously, we're not going to... Well, I mean, down the line, we'll swap to those and try to get some new things. We've got 7,500 gold, which is nice. I want to stop talking about this, but I had one more thing to say. Oh, what does it's, it's the same with this game. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. I don't think it's necessarily difficult, but there are tedious things like, you know, the lack of fast travel, for example, and people people get annoyed about the lack of fast travel. They really do. I've seen some really negative comments. I've seen people on Reddit just say this game is not for them. And that's fine. If you say it's not for me and that's okay, then that's okay. If you say it's not for me so it should be changed, that's stupid, because not every game can be made for every person. You have to know what is made for you. Me, this, and Elden Ring, and all that kind of jazz, these open games where I just get to do whatever the heck I want, and it's just gameplay focused and character driven in that respect. And player driven is what I enjoy in video games these days, mainly. Sometimes I go in for story stuff. Um, Plague Tale, Thaumaturge at the moment. But predominantly, this is the kind of game I really enjoy. Of, of many types. So if you start to change it, then it's not the same game. And you can just say, oh, just add a setting, but nothing is ever as easy as adding a setting. So you might not like how fast travel works in this game, and there are going to be times where I find it really tedious. But the point, again, is to make you think about your journeys and to ground you in the game world. There are reasons behind this. It's not just to piss you off for the sake of pissing you off. Anyways, I'm done now. <laughs> Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. I'm very passionate about this kind of thing, okay? Uh, I have, have tokens. The we uh, they might not be, in, yeah, it's in my inventory. I was on three, though. I've got one more in the bank, but there's no point until I get one more, right? More likely, this stagger and knockdown foes is pretty good. What's the first one I'm excited by? That one. Max health, max stamina, and maximum carry weight. So 15 is the number to look for. And then, I'm not sure what pass there. And then that one. <laughs> and then that one. Uh, right, let's have a look at our vocation. Oh, baby. Because as we leveled it up, we obviously we got loads of new weapon skills. We also got core skills and augments. Hasten's movement speed while carrying or lifting. Why? 
Increases gold obtained when a... Okay, more gold all the time. That seems worth getting, right? Just constantly get more gold. Seems great. Uh, so let's have a look at these core skills. I like these because I don't have to think. <laughs> Allows the user to instantly approach a target. Oh, that was struck by foreboding or... Press A when foreboding or scattering. Okay, that's quite cheap, so let's grab that. So just press A when it hits and I zoom in towards them. That's cool. Extends the range of the bolt. Sure. Okay, tap X repeatedly to activate. Keep tapping to... Oh, look at it go! It's like some proper Jedi thing. <laughs> this, I believe, is the new vocation for the game. Spins the dual spear forward, whirling and slashing through targets without pause. Repeatedly pressing the activation button spins it faster. Can be activated... Okay, yes. Okay, weapon skills. Because I don't really want to keep using the blade. Although this... That makes another one, doesn't it? Yeah. What's this do? That's the use of the travel further and causes it to inflict more damage. Yeah, definitely getting that. So I really like that ability. What else have we got? Humble offerings. Levitates nearby objects and hurls them at the cl <gasps> Okay. Cool. Saps the target's vitality and grants it to the user in the form of stamina. Cannot be employed against targets that lack corporeal form, so can't use it against ghosts and stuff like that. Okay. Sorry, I need to stretch my legs. One sec. Oh! You wreck a magical barrier around the user and any allies within range. Each barrier lasts for a very short span of time, nullifies all manner of attacks. I wonder, by the way, how you get these ones. Do you reckon it's like I have to... Is it when I level, or do I have to use the first one a certain number of times? Because obviously I've bought more abilities before and never got it. Dart swiftly into the air. Nice. Oh! It's another dodge one. Use it to dodge and do extra damage. That seems really potentially strong to get on top of someone's head, though. Like a big boy's head. Really interesting. Kind of. See what I mean? It's Jedi, isn't it? It's definitely inspired by Jedi. Look at that. Um, oh, I don't know what I want. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy all of them. I think because they're quite cheap. I'm gonna have that one. In uh, yeah, go on then. I say they're quite cheap. It'll obviously we'll get to a point where. I desperately wish I'd saved more of my points, but whatever. Hastens movement speed will count. You know what? It's 300. We may as well. And we don't, we've got like three slots. It's not going to be one that we keep, but we may as well have it for now. So rank six on fighter. Rank four on this already. We got caught up very quickly. Can I view the augments? It's got that one. Got that one. Augment strength during the day. Magic at night. Increase the amount of rift crystals obtained when acquiring rift fragments. Oh, yeah. Reduce stamina consumed. That's cool. Fighter, what did we not get? Lift up and pin down foes for extended duration. Hastens recovery. Okay. Warrior. Increase... Ma Wait, do I get these? No. Increase maximum health. Breakthrough guard. Knockdown power. And sorcerer. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I look good as a mage, actually. Interesting. Right, Balthasar, my friend. Um, I'm going to keep him as a... This thing. Let's get him magic defense. Let's get him intervention. Reduces the duration of debilitations. Cool. Got all that on him. And core skills. Quick spell. Yeah, I'm just going to get more of this. And levitate. Right. Weapon skills. So, that's his fire spell, that's his ice spell, and then we've got the better version of his ice spell, so we should probably grab that. Levin, which is the lightning version, but I've got the lightning affinity, so I didn't want that. And then Halidom is... He never uses it. I've never... I don't know if I've ever seen him use Halidom. Oh, no, it's debilitation. Okay, I have done, yeah. Uh... Oh, that cures more. Okay. Right, is there anything new? 
Argent tonic. Nice. Does, mm. does not. Re if that recovered the loss gauge, I'd be on board. But otherwise, eh. This doesn't seem to have really gained anything. So I'm going to take high halidom. And I think I'm sticking with that. So he's going to keep giving us lightning affinity. I wish I could even more. Like, I'd like to have him able to give us all three boons. You know? But then he would only have one spell himself. You could build him as a pure support caster very easily by doing that. I guess he can still cast, though, can't he? He doesn't use Frigor or flagra Flagration that often. Hmm. I think if you had three physical DPS in your group, it would be worth taking pure boons. Maybe. It's interesting, because he's clearly got a heal by default, because he's not got a heal in his abilities. I haven't seen it anywhere. We're going to get him to level 9, which I think is the max. And then we'll swap him over to Sorcerer, I think. Always a pleasure. Cool. Alright, let's go check in with the shopkeep. Lip. Come take a look. You'll be glad. Do you have anything for me now? Probably not, right? That's a start. I see, but yeah, he's got the the great swords. He's, he's got the same stuff that the other place has. Oh, these are mine. Oh, wait, a, wait a minute. Hello, <laughs> unexpected benefit, there. Yeah, um, that one's worse, but I think that's the same. That's the one I've got, but it's in not upgraded. This though, thirty. Well, 34 more damage on strength, 34 more damage on magic, a bit more knockdown power. Don't see any reason not to buy it, really. Let's get that on. Okay. Uh, let's get that upgraded. Nice. Keep going. Oh, man. <laughs> I just gained, like, so... Oh, man. I keep, I keep going. Yeah, go, 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 go. I think it's like a truck. <laughs> awesome. Do come again. I'll do, buddy. Right, let's just see if this, this guy's got any armor for me as well. Well, I'm here. Welcome to Bjork and quality is what you need. Oh, I also need to sell the, um, I think I just... Right, look at the difference. A hundred strength, a hundred magic. Huge upgrade. Very cool. Uh, and he sells some stuff anyway. This is why I sell this, because I just... I don't use... I don't camp that often at the moment. I think the dried meat stays. But I'm not camping very often. Um, so everything just rots, you know? I'm going to keep those going and turn those into things. How do I have 20... Oh! It's the flowers that I was picking, isn't it? Oh, that's sad. They all died. Okay. Five. Do you have anything for me? Probably not, but we'll see. Not on this one. The problem is now we're comparing unupgraded gear. So that is worse, but is it worse? You know? Because I haven't upgraded it. Mm, they're better. Not a huge upgrade, though. I'm not going to worry about that. Cloaks are resistant to being good. Okay, I don't think there's anything I want. What about... What about for my beloved? Balthazar. Did I upgrade his gear recently? Uh, no. Should we get him the gown? Uh, 10,000 gold. Oh, that's sorcerer only. Uh, see, that's why I want one that's... Yeah. Uh, you kind of want one that's going to work on both, don't you, really? Like those boots, for example. I'll get them those. So if all you check... Right, please stop taking me off the entire bloody thing. The price, just remember... Sorry, Boff, so I've been neglecting you a little bit, buddy. Oh. C 
See, it always makes sense. Like, it makes sense even for Balthazar to turn him into everything over time, right? But, like, I don't Misers, really to see you again. want to. <laughs> oh, I need to stop. Welcome to Bjorn's I kind of want him to be a mage. That's who he is. So, yeah, I'm trying to balance between what is technically the right thing to do and also the thing that I think is better for, you know, role-playing purposes, essentially. Okay. To survive. Okay, hey, so, um, you didn't really need to be here for that, but you have been. Got my sexy new weapon. Uh, I'm gonna go turn in... Actually, 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 actually what we're gonna do is combine these. Yes. Make more healing items. Make, uh... Yeah, sure. I'm um, gonna go stick a bunch of stuff in the hoose, which is this way, yep. And then we will call it a day. Next video, we're gonna go down to the slums, because we're trying to find... Well, no, we need to go to the prison, right? To get information about the banditry, about the gem. But we also need to find information about this book place, and they mentioned the slums for that as well. So I figured we'll go to the slums, we'll get the information, then we can go kill two birds with one stone at the prison. Is the current idea. Now you have to sit here and watch me do this. <laughs> right, I've got, oh, I've got no materials. Surprising me. Okay, nothing there. Where's all this weight coming from then? Oh, wait, I say what weight? I'm on, I'm on light. I'm as light as a feather, baby. Despite all this monsters I'm carrying around. I'm carrying around also many rings. Right, we don't need that. I should just sell them, really. But well, it's good to have them just in case. Grumble, grumble. Bam. Right, so <laughs> we are looking good. Next video then, we will head to the slums, try to get some information. And then we'll head to the prison and try to get both of those missions done. And then we might go have a little explore or go back to one of the towns maybe. See if uh, Melv or any of those has updated with new stuff since. Either way, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.